hi guys today i'm going to show us how to cut a structured puff sleeve okay a structured puff sleeve um so to get started you need a basic sleeve okay you can see this is my basic sleeve okay um so the first thing you need to do is i'm going to use this basic sleeve to cut my lining okay if you do not know how to cut your basic sleeve kindly um, check one of my previous videos because i made a comprehensive um, tutorial on how to cut a basic sleeve okay um so for this um pattern i'm going to use this pattern to cut out the lining okay of my basic sleeve this pattern i'm going to use it to cut the lining so um to let you know what i used the length is um 9.5 that's um approximately 10 inches if i'm to add um half inch sewing allowance to it so i'm going to use 10 inches for my length then for the width for the width you have to measure it this way so you get the so for the width is nine inches okay so nine inches on fold okay nine inches on fold so by the time you open it up you have 18 inches that's from here to this edge you have 18 inches okay so what i'm going to do is for the main um basic sleeve okay so i've already cut it out okay so this is it i've already cut it out so i'll just keep this aside so now for the um so this is my basic sleeve and this is um the part representing the front arm hole this representing the front arm hole and this representing the back arm hole just refer to my previous tutorial on how to cut a sleeve a basic sleeve you get it so i haven't cut this out so the next thing is i i need to cut the um the, for the main fabric okay so for this main fabric um so this is half inch okay it all depends on how puffy how big you want the sleeve to be okay um so this is half half yard so what i'll do here is uh, this is the folded end this is the folded end so let me measure what i have here so the measurements you need is you still refer back to your basic sleeve okay so you know this basic sleeve i said from here to here is 18 okay so what this means is that by the time i fold into two like this 18 divided by two that is nine inches for my basic sleeve that's i'm talking about the sleeve head okay so the sleeve head is nine inches if opened i have 18 inches so what this means is that i am going to um, multiply this from here to here i'm going to multiply 18 by 3 okay i'm going to multiply 18 by 3 and automatically 18 times 3 will give me 54 inches okay 18 times 3 will give me 54 inches so all you need to do is ensure you open it up and you measure 54 okay please note you can use um you can use um times two okay it all depends on how big as in how you want the pleat you know we are going to pleat it the reason i am multiplying by three is because um there will be pleats okay you pleat or you gather it okay so this is that's 54 so i'm just going to fold it with this um putting the 54 in place like so so i'm gonna cut it out so this is what i want okay so this is what i'll be working with so next thing to do is ensure you place it on fold like this so um this is the basic um this is the basic sleeve here mm? and this is the main fabric so what this means is that you can use 
a lining for this okay because this is what you are going to sew you are going to sew this on top of the basic sleeve okay this is the exact as in what i'm trying to say is this is the exact measurement of your sleeve when you want to sew it on your um, blouse or gown okay um so i'll put this aside i want to work on this this will bring the puff the puff out of the old sleeve so now to get started i'm not going to use this basic sleeve to cut um um the I'm not going to for the main fabric i'm not going to cut it exactly the same way as i cut the basic sleeve because this is a pot sleeve so what i will do is um i'm going to pleat this okay um i want you to know that there are two ways to achieve this sleeve you can either cut it as flare most times i prefer cutting it as flare okay because when you cut it as flare it gives you more fullness at the same time there is nothing wrong cutting it as rectangle because this is the rectangular one i am still going to make a tutorial where i will show us how to cut it as flare i love using it i i love cutting it as flare especially when i want to cut a gigot sleeve okay um so because this is just a puff sleeve so i'm using the rectangular method so this is the rectangular method so i haven't cut out your I haven't cut out the fabric you want to use for the puff part of the sleeve so the next thing i'm going to do now listen and pay attention to details here so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take my tape roll okay i will notch the midpoint of this okay notch the midpoints of this so that you know the midpoint okay I'll also notch the down parts so that you know the midpoint. Now, from this end here, I'm going to measure down. From this end, just take your tape roll and measure four inches down. You see? You mark it. Now, you come to this end here. This is the folded part, okay? So, you come to this end and you measure three inches inward like this you measure three inches in like so so when you measure when you measure three inches in and here you have four inches so all you need to do is just to draw a curve like this okay to meet up okay To meet up with this like so so next thing I'll do is I'm just trying to form the sleeve parts out of this old big um, stuff I will you just keep watching you see what will come out of this So I haven't removed it, then I have this. You know, this already looks like a sleeve, okay? You can see it looks like a sleeve. So the next thing I'm going to do, okay? So from the open ends of the main fabric, this is the open ends of the main fabric. I measured four inches down. From this point, I measured three inches in and I um, brought out a slight curve connect to this okay um so the next thing get the basic sleeve okay so this is the basic sleeve now now look for the right side of the basic sleeve okay so this is the right side then this is the right side of the basic sleeve facing off so the next thing you do is you know i've already notched the midpoint of this sleeve i also notched the midpoint of the basic sleeve so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to place right sides together, okay? Right sides. I'm going to place the right sides facing each other. 
so like this okay you know this is the notched part so you place this notched part on this notched part here and the next thing you do is to pin it down So just pin it down like so i know you'll be wondering that the basic sleeve is short it's small compared to all this yes this is because this is a puff sleeve okay so um next thing is this end here you match it with this end here okay like so you take your you take your pins again you pin this part down so from this end you are going to measure about three inches from this end okay that's from the sleeve now measure about three inches and mark it so three inches is around here so this is where the puff is going to start from three inches then you come to this part too you measure three inches don't forget right sides facing each other I'm talking of the basic sleeve and this normal sleeve okay so you know I've already pinned this down so i'm going to pin where the three inches gets to like so like so so have you seen so what this means is that you see this excess you are seeing here all this will go into the pleat or the gathers okay so it means that by the time i start sewing i start sewing and once i get here i'll start pleating it okay or gathering it i'll gather and gather gather everything into this part okay so you distribute the gathers evenly around here so from this part too so it's going to be the same thing so i'll clip this down to the three inches here okay so this is the three inches i will also So once done so what this means is that this part i'm going to pleat all this side and this part too i am still going to pleat it so what i'll do is that i'll take it to the sewing machine now i'll take it to my sewing machine and i'll start stitching look at let me show us this is still the basic sleeve here okay this is still the basic sleeve so i'll take it to the sewing machine i'll start stitching so when i stitch and i get to these three inches this place i pinned down okay this part i pinned down i'll start gathering it or pleating okay whichever one you want to do gather it evenly you get to the midpoint gather everything but make sure you don't gather these three inches yeah so as you can see i am done um gathering it so if you, if you look at it i distributed my gathers around the midpoint of this sleeve okay while this edge here i left um about three inches you can leave four inches okay the two hands so this is where you would um sew in as your um round sleeve okay so this will be your round sleeve okay um so you know i told us that the right sides facing each other then you um do your gathers right um so now i want to sew the upper part you know this is the round sleeve this is the down part of it the round sleeve let me show us this way so this is the round sleeve hmm, that i have sewn and i gathered it carefully so if i open it this is what i have you can see it's already forming my it's already making sense a little 